In this video, we review Hot Patch for Windows Server. Hello everyone, I'm Travis and this is Raldos. In this video, we take a look at Hot Patch for Windows Servers, what it is and how to use it. Before that, if you enjoy these videos, please let me know with a like and subscribe button. That helps others find this channel and is greatly appreciated. Check out my courses on hybrid identities with Windows AD and Enter ID, Azure Virtual Desktop, Windows 365 with Intune Management, and my newest course, A Beginner's Guide to the AZ900 at udemy.com. The links are below, and thank you channel members, your support is appreciated. Back to it, I've been around in IT long enough to remember when Windows patching was optional. That ended quickly with the I love you virus. Now, keeping servers and workstations patched is critical to the security of an environment. But traditionally, patching required a reboot. For some environments, the reboots caused a disruption. That's the problem Hot Patch for Windows Server helps solve. It patches in-memory code, providing the ability to patch servers without rebooting them. But there's more to it than that. Let's start with how it works. Hot Patch starts with a baseline of updates for Windows servers. There are two types of baselines. A planned baseline is released every three months. It includes all the cumulative updates since the last baseline. A baseline update requires a reboot. Monthly patching between the baseline is done with Hot Patch, no reboot required. For example, we could have planned baselines in January, April, July, and October, and the months in between are updated with Hot Patch. There are also unplanned baselines. These are released for unplanned but important updates, such as zero day fixes. Unplanned baselines will replace Hot Patches for the month when they happen. Unplanned baselines include the latest cumulative updates and will require a reboot. And being unplanned, there's no way to know when they'll happen. Hot Patch includes Windows security updates and stays in cadence with security updates for non-Hot Patch Windows updates. Non-security updates are not included with Hot Patch, as well as .NET updates and non-Windows updates like drivers and firmware updates. Next, let's see what OS versions we can use with Hot Patch. This video is on the server OS, but Hot Patch support for Windows 11 Enterprise is currently in preview. For Azure and Azure local VMs, Hot Patching is supported on Windows Server 2022 and 2025 Data Center Azure Edition. The specific publisher, OS offer, and SKU are on the screen. Notice that with Windows Server 2022 Azure Edition, the SKU is either core or indicates hot patch. 2022 Data Center Azure Edition does not support hot patch unless it specifies hot patch in the SKU. We can enable hot patch on these Azure servers by making sure the enable hot patch option is selected when we deploy the server. There's also preview support for Azure Arc enabled Windows Server 2025 Data Center and Standard Edition. Now that we know how it works and what server SKUs support it, what options do we have to update servers with hot patch? Let's start with Azure VMs that support hot patch. They use automatic guest patching for Azure VMs and scale sets. This is enabled on supported servers at the time of deployment. These VMs have automatic guest patching enabled by default. We also have the option to reboot always, if required or never. Remember that the baseline still requires a reboot. If we select an image in Azure that supports hot patch, this is the only option for patch orchestration. Automatic VM updating will download and apply critical and security patches to the VM every month after patches are released. These patches are installed during off-peak time. Off-peak is defined by the time zone of the VM. Also, the VM has to be powered on during the off-peak time to get the updates. Hot Patch is also supported on Azure Arc Connected Server 2025 Standard and Data Center Edition with Azure Update Manager. Azure Update Manager manages updates on Windows and Linux servers in Azure and on-prem with Azure Arc Connected Servers. I'll add a link below to more information. In addition to Azure Update Manager, Hot Patch for Azure Arc Connected Servers can also be managed with group policies that configure Windows updates, sconfig on server core, or third-party tools. Hot Patch also works with Azure Local when using the supported Azure Edition VM images mentioned previously. However, they can't be orchestrated with Azure Automatic Guest Patching or Azure Update Manager. For Azure Local, the options to configure Hot Patch is with group policies to configure client update settings, sconfig on server core, or a third-party tool. We can view the status of patching in Azure by going to the server, then settings and updates. The hot patch status message may take some time to update. When I first deployed a hot patch enabled VM, I got an error message next to the hot patch status. 
After a few hours, maybe a day, it changed to the pending evaluation or unknown status. The evaluation can take a few days. Once the assessment is finished, it will show the hot patch status. This example was deployed recently and still shows pending evaluation. Notice the security platform update shows never reboots under reboot required. That's an overview of what hot patching is, how it works, and the servers that support it. I hope you found this useful. If so, please let me know with a like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching.